me start with a, um, a bit of an update on the um, Kilauea activities on Hawaii Island. Um, that's been um, a major focus of a lot of activity by a lot of people in the university as well as what you see in the paper and the work of the civil authorities um, and others. Um, the good news is that our University of Hawaii facilities are all okay so far, with the exception of um, one of our inactive CTAR research stations, uh, the Malama Key, which is actually where the papaya uh, ring spot virus research was done. Um, we haven't been able to get in to do a full assessment, but it looks like it's in the, the path. Um, we have had incredible exposure of our scientists at both UH Hilo and UH Manoa, um, both in the local press, but also nationally and internationally. Um, we are now, uh, because of the uh, earthquakes and activities up at uh, Hawaii Volcano National Park, we have housed the Hawaii Volcano Observatory at UH Hilo. When they found out that they were probably going to have to evacuate um, their building, then we were more than happy to make space for them. UH Hilo has been a phenomenal resource for us. Um, they've provided space, they have uh, provided uh, the infrastructure so we can put our communication systems in, uh, extra staff. I'm really happy and, and um, grateful that I get to be here helping out. Uh, it's been a little hard, you know, it's hard to see people um, really impacted friends and family. Um, our UH Hilo faculty and students are um, an integral part of the civil defense activities uh, engaged in drone work. So every night they actually handle the drone overflights that provide the uh, information to the uh, disaster managers. My name is uh, again, Dr. Ryan Veroy and I'm an associate professor at the University of Hawaii at Hilo in the Department of Geography and Environmental Science. And drift over a little bit to the left. Yeah. So our goal here is to uh, map the spatial extent of the new fissure, uh, but then also from the data that we collect, we're able to generate three-dimensional models, uh, measurements of uh, the volume of material, and get at things like flow rates and such. And, and, and we are working very closely with um, Hawaii Volcano Observatory and Civil Defense and using that information to hopefully better understand what this thing is going to do and, and, and make some predictions about uh, what's going to happen. Do you have an idea of how, what the flow rate is? Uh, I don't at this point. No, I don't. That's part of, that's part of what we're going to be uh, doing processing the data that we just collected. Oh, on Leilani Estates? Um, I, I would, uh, I would uh, refer back to HBO about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, our UH Manoa scientists have done the block modeling that helps tell people um, where to expect the bog and where to avoid depending on the weather. And that model has now been incorporated into our uh, Pacific Disaster Center disaster management software that I'll, I'll mention shortly. Um, I guess the, the good news for UH out of this is that um, we have really established ourselves nationally and internationally as the place to study volcanology, uh, painful as that is. Uh, for so many people. Really the, the biggest issue is of course the impact on our students, our faculty, our staff, and, and the entire community. Um, and that's something that our campuses have reached out to the people who are members of UH Hilo and Hawaii Community College. Um, and I really want to thank our um, regents. Several of you have already donated to a fund to help take care of our students. Um, that's helping them with housing, with gas, with food, as they struggle. Um, at this point, we really have no idea how long uh, this will last and how many more people will be impacted. Um, just one more somber note. Yeah, yeah please. I could ask Kendra to reach out to the board for this fund. We don't often ask for the board to do this. Um, I think it would be great we could get 100% participation, even if it's just a small amount, um, to help the students that are really experiencing hardship.